Hi everyone, it's Double K Life. I'm Karina. I'm Kevin. And Karina, I don't know if you know, today's our 10th episode. Ooh, yay! And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that we should actually bring it back to a throwback. I think we should do some tastings. Ooh, my favorite. So I was thinking for today we're going to be doing 10 random Trader Joe's snacks. Well, with that being said, let's get to it. So this is our first snack. It's popcorn, but I'm kind of confused as to what it's supposed <laughs> to taste like. It has the words tangy, salty, smoky, and spicy. Are they, are they missing anything? All in one popcorn? Smell! Oh, this smells weird. Wait, touch tips. Nice. I mean... This is a no for me. It's got everything it said. <laughs> Who said this was okay to sell in Trader Joe's? I'm gonna need to wash this down. This is like up to par with pig's feet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get this. You see this? Don't get it. What are you thinking on this one? One. <laughs> one Unless I could give it zero. Unless I could give it zero. <laughs> I mean, you can give it zero, but... Zero. <laughs> I ain't ever buying these again. They're bad, but they're not that bad. I give them a four, a three, it's four. Snack number two. So for this one, we have dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips. Sprinkled with sea salt. Wow. The, the game has changed. Tip touch. It really just tastes like if you had a plantain chip, a regular plantain chocolate. chip, and drizzled chocolate. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Nothing to cry home about, but it's good. It's good. I would definitely finish this bag. Well, if Karina finishes it, you know that's a good sign. What would you rate it? Seven. I agree. Wow. Average. Like, I really like them, but I'm not like, I could do this at home. Me and you agree, man. Brings it. It just rings my bells. Snack number three. What you got there? Watermelon jerky. Watermelon jerky? I've never seen this. What the heck is watermelon jerky? We're gonna find out. Can you even have jerky if it's not meat? It smells like cardboard. It smells like, you know what? It actually smells like when my dad used to do construction. It smells like yeah, plaster. It smells does. like plaster. Oh, this isn't a good sign. Look how cool this looks. Ready? Wait, why is your piece so red and mine's yellow? You are a yellow piece of watermelon. Okay. Wait. Why it's not crunchy? This video is not as successful as our H Mart video. That poop! It tastes like watermelon dry. No, it like doesn't. Like the aftertaste, I'm getting watermelon. What kind of watermelon you eating? For me, that's a zero out of ten. Wow. I wouldn't be that harsh. I'd give this like a five. Even that's kind of generous. Snack number four. So, Karina, these are actually mushroom chips. Yeah, I knew you would like these. I'm actually really excited because you got me mushroom chips recently and I love them. So I'm really hoping this disappo doesn't disappoint me. Mm, smells like a mushroom, actually. Yeah. I've never even heard of that. But it tastes good if you like mushrooms. Yeah, if you like mushrooms, you would like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy. I mean, I like mushrooms cooked with other things, not like in chip form. I'm going to say an eight. I think I give this a five. I'm not crazy about it. It's not bad. Definitely wouldn't get it again. Because you wasn't the watermelon a five? Yeah. They're, they're a par. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Snack number five. I'm excited for Anytime I see tea, I get excited. So we've actually tried the peach version of this one. And it's great. Yeah, it's really good. And it's really low in sugar, which is why I bought it for Kevin originally. So one thing that I'm actually like super excited for is the fact that this just doesn't have a lot of sugar into it. And I know that the peach one was really good. Karina has been doing a great job at reducing my sugar intake. And it's actually crazy because I don't even like sugar as much anymore. He used to do how many tablespoons in your tea? You can reduce me on like that. Yeah, how many tablespoons? Before I met Karina, I was doing shamefully four tablespoons of sugar in my cup of tea. Clean. It's also sparkling, guys. Mm. Really good. It's really good. It's just like the other one, but yeah. pineapple. This is really good. I'm gonna give this a nine. I'd give these an eight. 
I take that. They're really good. We take those. Snack number six. So this is uh, organic dark chocolate covered whole cacao beans. Wow, these are pretty Ooh, big. Oh, it it's... smells very dark chocolate. Yeah, dark I was going to say, it smells like so dark chocolatey. Ready? I'm scared. How's that bitterness on the inside mm -hmm. from the bean? Yeah, it's like that full cacao effect. You know, it kind of tastes like coffee. I'm not crazy about it, but I don't think it's bad. That's a perfect six to me. I'm surprised because we like coffee. But it's a cacao bean, not a coffee bean. But it's very similar to coffee. I'd give that a six as well. You know, I love Romanian Dutch. Snack number seven. So these are chili and lime rolled corn tortilla chips. That sounds interesting. I've actually seen these on a lot of other videos and I heard good things about them. So hopefully Ooh, we can. Tip touch. Whoa, I'm getting hit with that chili. You know wow, what? that's intense. You know what's actually a lot more powerful is the lime flavor. Who likes these? It's making me tear up. <laughs> two. I give these a five. That's way too generous. Snack number eight. So, Karina, actually, this one I was really excited to try. Yeah, Kevin really likes ginger flavored things. Next to mushrooms and ginger, like, those are my like top two things. I actually like, am excited to try these too. So you know what's really interesting about these cookies, guys, is the first thing is that one, they have ginger chunks in there, so it's kind of like ginger raisins. Two, yeah, you didn't like that. Interesting way to put it. You didn't like that. <laughs> Two is that they're actually gluten free. You see the ginger chunks in there? Yeah. I'm, I'm excited like, for that. I'm not excited. <laughs> we didn't touch tips. These are really good. This should be good with some tea. Oh yeah. So what would you give them? Mm, I'd give them a nine. Wow. I think the ginger is a little too sweet. If it was spicier, I would give it an eight to ten. I think I'd give it a seven. Mm -hmm. Like it's average for me. Snack number nine. Chocolate hazelnut fruise balls. Fruise balls. It says vegan energy balls. They have six point eight grams of protein. So I guess this is something you would have made before a workout. You scare me with the word vegan. Ooh, I think they have coconut on the outside. These are freaking huge. They're energy balls. I wasn't expecting this. Mmm. There's hazelnut in the middle. I like these a lot. But I've made energy balls before. And I really like these. I don't know how I feel about them. It's a really good snack if you're trying to be healthy. I give these a 9. A 9? I thought you were going to give it a 10. I'm actually going to give it a 9. And I know you're going to be like, oh, well, your face was so horrible in the first yeah. shot. It's just because I've never had something like this, and I was very skeptical, but now the aftertaste is really wonderful. Item number 10. So this is an ice cream bonbon. Crack them open. Where are we going? Our mess is a tape. Our mess is a tape. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time, though. Speech okay. is hard. Like the vanilla ice cream in the middle is a little bit melty. It's cold. It's a frozen dessert. My teeth hurt. I told you! So, I kind of get a little bit too much chocolate from the outside. And the layer underneath. Yeah, there's like cookie crumbles on the bottom layer and the inside. And then there's just a little bit of vanilla, which I don't think is enough. Like, all I taste is chocolate, pretty much. Yeah, I completely agree with you. It's overwhelmingly chocolatey. Yeah. You don't get any vanilla in almost. Do you feel like it also tastes a little minty? No. Like, I feel like a little mintiness to it. I'll give this a five, maybe four. I feel like it was just too chocolatey for me, and I'm not crazy about the execution, putting all that in one little light. I have to agree with you on this one. I give it a four as well. I'm going to say something that I know you're going to drive me nuts, and I'm sure half of the people listening are going to think I'm crazy. I think Trader Joe's a little overrated. Alright guys, so like we said, today was our 10th episode and we're super stoked about that. Uh, we're so happy to have made it to 10 episodes and I just wanted to say quickly to all the people who have been watching our videos, all seven of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all you people who have been watching our videos and all of our subscribers. Just thank you so much. It means so much to us. And I also want to make a special shout out to my boy Greg, who has been 
super, super, super. Yeah. Super? Super. <laughs> he's so excited about you, Greg. <laughs> I, he's been super, super, super helpful to us. Um, you know, the, the amount of stuff he's helped us with is countless. So I just wanted to shoot a special thank you to Greg for all your support. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do this channel without his support. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching Karina and I try 10 random Trader Joe's snacks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.